channel, the plants and I are so excited to have you here. I hope that you are enjoying your new new year. Yes, we are in 2021. So we are going to be doing a 10 minute plank workout today. I hope you're ready. It's going to be 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest all the way through. We're going to be working from our elbows to our hands, crossing with our knees and whatnot. Yes, awesome, dance, move. It's going to be a ton of fun. Make sure to drink lots of water beforehand. Make sure to stretch. And let's get into it. All righty, hold tighty. Get ready. And we have our forearm plank. Modification here, drop your knees to the floor and raise your feet just a couple of inches from the floor. You can see I'm trying to make it a little bit more challenging by putting my feet together and leaning slightly forward. I'm puffing up between my shoulder blades, strengthening my core, keeping my glutes nice and tight. Okay. Great job, everybody. We've got a little bit less than 15 seconds here. You're doing so well. Planks are such beneficial exercises. It's a great way to fire up your core. Okay, rest. Breathe. I'm gonna get my plants out of the way. Don't want a casualty. Okay, we have our perfect plank. So our hands are underneath, directly underneath our shoulders. Our core is engaged. Our glutes are nice and tight. Our gaze is just slightly forward. Puff up between your shoulders. Modification here is to drop your knees, raise your feet, but still be on your hands. Great job, everybody. Okay, we are approaching the 10 second mark. Remember to breathe here. You're feeling a little fatigued, that's great, but that's a good indicator that you need to push through. Great, 10 seconds of rest here. Breathe, stretch out your wrists if you need to. Next exercise, forearm plank with a toe tap. Notice I'm puffing up between my shoulder blades. Just gonna move away from the wall. <laughs> Modification here for this is to put your knees to the ground again and just simply hold your plank. You can also put one knee to the ground and tap out with the other leg and vice versa. You can alternate that way as well. When you're doing your plank, you should not have a dip in your back. So if you notice that you're arching downward, that's not what you want to be doing. Your back should be straight, your core should be engaged. Okay, we've got our 10 second break. <laughs> Next exercise, we're going to do knee thrusts. So opposite knee to the opposite elbow. I'm doing this at a steady and intentional pace. This is also known as a mountain climber or mountain twisters or mountain climber twisters. There are lots of names for it. I'm not doing this at a mountain climber pace because I know the rest of the workout is going to be a challenge and I'm doing this with intention. So uh, this is supposed to be a hyper focused exercise. I'm not trying to get cardio in. I'm trying to focus on my core. Modification here is to drop to your knees, raise your feet to the air. Great job, everybody. And we rest. Breathe. Stretch out your wrists. Notice that I have to do that. We've got our forearm side plank. So your elbow is directly underneath your shoulder your obliques are engaged your hips are raised your feet are stacked 
modification, the knee that's closest to the ground should be dropped so that your hips are still raised and there's still good intention energy between your core and the ground. You can see that I added in a little bit more of a challenge by raising my top foot and my top leg. So I'm just going to balance here. This adds more challenge. This adds a nice way to really fatigue out the muscles and rest. Other side. And forearm plank. Again, elbow is directly underneath your shoulder. Modification for this is to drop the knee that's closest to the ground on the ground, but you still want to keep your hips raised. Feet are stacked. Opposite arm is in the air. I'm balancing myself out using that. Keep your hips raised, your core is engaged. Gonna add that extra challenge. Raise that top leg and really focus. I'm breathing this entirety of the time. I'm very hyper-focused on not losing my balance. Great job, everybody. We've got less than five seconds here. And we rest. Great work. Our next exercise, our side plank with hip dips. So back on the opposite side, elbow is directly underneath your shoulder and just slightly dip your hips to the ground. You can touch the ground, that adds challenge, or slightly raise it. Modification here is to drop your knee that's closest to the ground on the ground, but you're still keeping your hips raised and you're adding in that hip dip. Still a good burner. Great job. Keep your feet stacked. Keep your gaze engaged. Focus, remember to breathe. Your core should be nice and tight. Your glutes should be tight as well. And rest. Other side. Great job, everybody. Same rules here, feet are stacked. Dipping our hips slowly to the ground or at an increased pace as I'm doing. Modification, drop the knee that's closest to the ground on the ground, but you're still keeping your hips raised and you're still adding in those hip dips. Great job, everybody. We've got less than 20 seconds here. Remember to breathe. Your shoulder should be directly over your elbow. Great job, and we rest. Now we breathe, remember to breathe. Breathing is so important. Okay, we've got our side plank again, but this time we're on our hands. So hand is directly underneath your shoulder. Feet are stacked. Modification here, drop your knees to the ground. The knee that's closest to the ground should be on the ground if you're modifying. Keep your opposite arm in the air to maintain that balance. Great work, everybody. And if you want to add extra challenge, go ahead and raise your foot in the air. Make sure to breathe. Your core should be so engaged right now. There's no way that you cannot have a, an engaged core at this moment in order to maintain that balance. Great job, great job. And rest. We're gonna do the other side now. Your hand is directly underneath your shoulder. Feet are stacked. 
Opposing hand is in the air to maintain your balance. Keep your hips raised. Try not to add in a dip there. You do not want to make a crescent with your body. You're keeping a straight line. Great job. And raise that top foot if you want to add an extra challenge. Great work, everybody. And you've got less than 10 seconds in this workout. You're almost done. You're doing so well. Remember to breathe. Keep that core engaged. And ready, we are done. Great job, everybody. You did it. That was your 10 minute plank workout. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. This was a, a good one to really work on your core. The plants and I truly enjoyed having you here. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell on your way out the door so that you never miss another video with plants and I. All right, have a cool day. I didn't mention, but this workout obviously does not require any equipment. You can certainly make it harder by adding in some dumbbells. I did not today. 